a lot of people are going to be very anxious because change raises anxiety in people. And people who have limited opportunities to educate themselves because of cultural, culturally inflicted abuse are scared because they can sense that everything familiar is giving way, but they don't want to embrace the unimaginable. These people need to be reassured. They need to be reassured by example and by hearing optimistic and reasonable rhetoric about the future. Selling the future as an eight alarm fire, which is how the media does it, uh, only makes the same future impossible. So we need a responsible approach to thinking about the future. And it means taking personal responsibility for your drug taking, for the ideas, the means that you push into society, and for the images that we share among ourselves. You know, one of the great truisms of the New Age is that images can heal. But I've never heard anybody discuss the obvious contra implication, which is images can make you sick. And you are constantly bombarded with images which disempower, divide, confuse, and, and, and make crazy, basically. So I think the reason psychedelics are such political dynamite in any culture is because they dissolve cultural assumptions. The scales fall from people's eyes and they say, does this make sense? Does my job make sense? Does my relationship make sense to my significant other, to my government, to my children, to my environment? Do these relationships make sense? And of course, if the answer for most people in high-tech society is no. We've been compromised, we've been deluded, we've been sold a massive pottage. The way out then is personal responsibility, new operating systems downloaded from outside of culture, which means from the deeper wisdom of the psychedelic plants, and then a commitment to community and a motto of to the future without fear, without fear. Thank you very much.